Some of us look better with the hairband and some of us without it. Which one are you? Hi, my name is Chi. Today let's look at your face shape. But it's not just your face shape because there's one main thing that face shape is missing. It doesn't address the proportion of your forehead in relation to the rest of your face. And that is critical because what the hairband does is cover your forehead or not. So it really comes down to one question. Is your face suitable to show your forehead? Or block it. Now let's get right into it. If your face is round, like me, the ratio between the length and width of your face is close to one to one. You have broader cheekbones and the distance from your jawlines to your chin is relatively short. That is why round face come across as broad and very easy to look flashy. And the key to flatter a round face is to maintain the length of your face and stay away from anything that shortens your face. And that is exactly what the hairband does. But there are so many different types of hairbands, I don't want to jump into the conclusion that no hairband would ever work on a rounded face. I have been playing around with it and I found two types of hairbands that actually can work even when your face is round. A favorite? Side fringes that drapes down on both sides of your face. This adds vertical lines to your face and lengthens your face instead of making your face look shorter like any other hairbands. You can also get a side parted long curtain band. The key is they shouldn't be completely blocking off your forehead because it shows your forehead it's not gonna make your face look as wide. If your face shape is long, this is where it gets tricky because theoretically you should always get a hairband that's gonna shorten your face and make your face look more in harmony. But that is not always the case. A famous example is Sarah Jessica Parker, known for having longer face, but 99% of the time she has no hair fringe. Why? And this is what I mean, why the face shape theory is missing one major component when it comes to determining your bands or not. The face shape theory addresses the outline of your face, but it doesn't talk about how long is your forehead in relation to the rest of your face, which is critical whether or not your face is suitable for a band. When it comes to face like Sarah Jessica Parker, her lens is not in her forehead. It's in the rest of her face. Her chin is relatively long. If that is you, having a hairband which blocks your forehead really doesn't do much for the length of your face. The only thing it does is actually because your forehead is not blocked, all the focus is on the rest of your face, which is the longest part of your face. If your face is longer because your forehead is longer, like Rihanna, then yes, having a hairband is gonna be extremely flattering because it shortens your face and make it look more in harmony. And this applies to not just the oblong face shape, but also oval face shape. Famous example, Dakota Johnson and her signature hairbands. Even though she has an ideal oval face shape, which is perfect in terms of the length and the waist, she does have a longer forehead in relation to the rest of her face. So when she doesn't have a hairband, all the focus is on her forehead. When she does wear her hairband, the famous Dakota Johnson hairband that we all love, now all the focus is on her eyes. What a huge difference it makes on her face. If your face is square shape, it's very similar to the round face shape. The ratio of the width and the length for your face is close to one to one. And because you have square jaw lines, your face tend to come across as wider, broader, and therefore it's key to maintain the length of your face and don't do anything to make it look shorter. And therefore, showing your forehead without any hairband most of the time is quite flattering on a square face shape because it lengthens your face and balance out the width of your jaws. But once again, there's so many different types of hairbands. Of course, it's possible that you can find a hairband that will work for a square shaped face. You can go for a side hairbands that's longer or wispy hairbands where your forehead can still be sane. No matter what type of bands you get, make sure your forehead is not completely blocked off. The heart shaped face, one of my favorites. You have a wider forehead and a pointed chin, so your face looks very useful. Your face is made for having a hairband because your forehead is wider most of the hairbands are gonna look pretty flattering because it's gonna balance out your forehead. What you do want to be careful is those hairbands that's too short. Because when your hairband is too short, they're gonna draw attention to your forehead. It can look like they're not long enough to cover your wide forehead, and therefore it does the opposite. The pear-shaped face. You're known for having a more narrow forehead and wider jaws. Especially when you gain weight, your jawline could look really full, and you 
even wider. A famous example is Kelly Osbourne. So if you wear your hairbands, that's actually gonna block your forehead. And this is gonna make your bottom half of your face look even wider and draw more attention to the bottom part, the wider part of your face. On the other hand, without a hairband, your face actually looks more balanced. Because when you show your forehead, this is gonna draw attention to the forehead instead of completely focus on your jaw lines. Now we're through the common types of face shapes and whether or not your face is suitable for a hairband. Besides hairband though, there's another thing that's always been puzzling to me. Why do some women look gorgeous when their hair is up but average when the hair is down. And the opposite is true with the rest of us. Watch this video. Is your face shape suitable for having your hair up or do you look better when your hair is down?